Okay, part two. Now that Donna is done taking her pictures. Uh, look at this thing. Now that is an old Airstream, I think. I don't even know if it's an Airstream. Not sure. So we'll continue on our uh, park view. Actually, have a hole in the wall for an air conditioner. So, as you can see, we're coming back up through. Uh, continuing on our way. I don't know why my uh, why it's so blurry. The distance is very blurry while we're driving. See, everything's blurry. Other than the dash right in front of me. Huh? Oh yeah. Maybe. Yep. Playground up in front of us. That's one of their cabins. Okay, now we'll enter into the port. Of speed bumps in this park. Propane fill station. If you look at the sign, it literally says propane is filled at three o'clock. That's it. Drop your tanks off, pick them back up. So, this is their rec room, rec building, I guess you would say. They have uh, bingo, 50 50. They do hot dogs and hamburgers. That's your dump station. Um, we're actually staying down that way. The road went off to the left. So basically it's a big circle with a bunch of in-betweens. So there's one of the in-betweens. But you can see this is, this is just people's residence, <laughs> pretty much. This is the swimming area. Now that would go along the outer perimeter. So I, I don't need to go there, but uh, this is their pool now house. I think this is nice that they have a veteran's now, circle. Yes. If you look over here, this is a veteran's circle. Dedicated to the vets. Very nice. So you can see pool hours, 10 to 7. I think you can see it. Subject to change. Well, apparently subject to change was today because they closed at 5 o'clock. So yeah, so you had the road that go went around the whole perimeter and then you have just these in-between roads. But you'll get the idea that uh, other than a few cabins down near the pond and some transient sites with uh, water, sewer, and electric, everybody is, uh, I mean, there's park models. Ones that look like they've been here for a long, long time. There is a, uh, this is the one bathhouse, other than the one that you just saw down at the pool. That's the only other bathhouse in the whole park. Um, so yeah, like most traditional parks, uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, that I will say this, the sites are rather large. Uh, this one, really not. Um, everybody does do their thing and keeps their uh, sites very clean. Uh, once again, there's a perimeter where everything goes around the perimeter. We're just catching up to that. That would be the perimeter. 
some side roads. We are actually down this way, so we're going to come back down this way. I did say that it would be nice if they have this nice creek all the way through here, but obviously it's real dry right now. I did say it would be nice if they could have a constant pumping running water that flows the creek through the whole place. It would just set, set it off a little bit. Um, so that's the outer perimeter road. We are down this way. So yeah, these are uh, seasonals. 97% I would say. Other than that little tiny road you saw going down to the pond and the nine sites we talked about previously, everything is seasonals. And some people put a lot of time and effort into, uh, as you'll see. Woodlands. Elkton, Maryland. Some uh, real nice over here. And here you go. We're in Baby D and there's the clipper. <laughs> I think the third smallest one in the park right now. <laughs> So there you have it. It is uh, it's a uh, nice size park. It's a very nice park. If you uh, get a chance to get here and get a site, um, I think it was, what was it? Water, sewer, and electric was 55, 55 a night. Um, they've been here since I think it said 1974. Elk Neck State Forest. Elkton, Maryland. If you get a chance, swing in. If you can get a site, this is Elk Neck Camping Resort um, in the Elk Neck State Forest. Now, at the base of the peninsula, I believe, is of the Elk Neck River between the Elk Neck River and the Northeast River is the Elk Neck State Park, which is uh, also camping down there. Um, that's more of your state park camping. So, till our next adventure, uh, we're going to try to book something, I think, next weekend or the following weekend. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe below if you want to keep following us. And uh, we'll just keep trucking along till our next big adventure and who knows where and when that's going to be. Uh, we do have a lot of states we haven't scratched off uh, on our map. Kind of central United States or very far north. Um, we want to try to do a uh, maybe a Lake George run this year. We're doing a Massachusetts run in uh, September. Yep. We'll be doing another Maryland run, just staying at a uh, family's house uh, with the camper in a few weeks. Um, and we'll just keep uh, letting everybody know what we find and what we come across. Thank you. Till next time.